What do we know about DK Metcalf, a second-year wide receiver out of Ole Miss that's fastly becoming one of Russell Wilson's favorite targets and one of the most dominant receivers in all of football? He's got track speed, built like a D lineman. He spent about two seasons terrorizing defensive backs, most notably that deep touchdown against the NFL's premier cornerback in 2019's Defensive Player of the Year, Stephen Gilmore. But these are things you probably already know. The point of this video is that we're going to explore 10 things you don't know about the Seattle Seahawks star wide receiver, DK Metcalf. Before we get into all things DK, do me a favor, click that subscribe. All done? All right. Number 10, DK Metcalf hopes to master cooking and one day wants to open up his own restaurant. If you're as chiseled as an athlete as DK Metcalf, there is little doubt that you're on a strict nutrition regimen and aware of the foods you're eating. DK has a private chef and he follows a nutrition sheet when eating on his own. In the off-season or times when he's able to eat what he wants, he likes to cook mainly Italian dishes and one of his favorite dishes is chicken alfredo. He's a big fan of steaks too and once made them for NFL Network. Number 9. His father played in the NFL and was responsible for trying to bulk him up. He started working out at around 5 years old and he was able to lift a ridiculous press 50 pounds and squat 100 pounds, but stopped using heavy weights after the Bears strength coach cautioned that lifting heavy weights at that age would affect the development of his bones. His father wanted to keep DK strong and continue his exercising, so he got him resistance bands instead. DK worked out regularly with his father's guidance and had a mindset to get big and strong like his father in order to be a professional athlete and play in the NFL like him. Number 8, DK Metcalf has 1.6% body fat. <laughs> You've probably seen the picture by now of DK Metcalf looking like he was carved out of stone while flexing shirtless in a weight room. The picture that went viral around the 2019 draft was the flex that started a thousand conversations as DK Metcalf was photographed with other NFL prospects and just looked massive next to them. Many thought the picture was photoshopped while others couldn't believe that the picture was of a wide receiver and not some defensive lineman. Soon after, more rumors began to swirl of DK having 0% body fat. While 0% body fat is presumed impossible and, well, not very healthy, DK DK had his body fat measured and was said to be down to 1.6%. When asked if that inconceivable number was true, DK confirmed it. Keep in mind, DK has trainers, a chef that keeps him on a strict diet and has been working out since he was five years old, so it's not that crazy when you actually think about it. But the Seattle Seahawks have a machine out there playing at wide receiver who takes care of his body like not many athletes before him, and it definitely shows. Number seven, there were many who doubted DK Metcalf coming out of the draft. One of the more notable critiques was that DK Metcalf is a first round flop waiting to happen. The projected draft slide began when concerns over his agility and his route running became the buzz of the pre-draft process. And some said DK, despite his show-stopping combine performance, wouldn't be a day one selection. Scouts broke down his tape and nitpicked at anything they could to justify why why DK would be the latest big name receiver to flop, a la former Chicago Bears first round pick Kevin White or the late Charles Rogers, both of whom were supposed to grow into elite franchise cornerstones and flamed out. The knock on Metcalf was that he was simply too big to play wide out and his robotic route running that he was able to beat lesser athletes at the collegiate level wouldn't translate to the NFL. Metcalf's slide was more about those before him than flop than the prospect himself, and after being the ninth wide receiver selected, those who believed in DK thought this was one of the more bizarre slides in recent draft history. The Seattle Seahawks, who were very high on DK during the pre-draft process, never thought someone as talented as him would slide all the way to them in the late second round. DK's draft slide and meteoric rise to becoming one of the best wide receivers in the game in just his second year. Well, not all scouts get it right, and sometimes it's better to believe what you see than what you hear because DK's tape and competitive-esque bodybuilding physique kind of speaks for itself. Number six, 
Decaf? Metcalf? On Monday Night Football, a broadcaster goofed when mentioning DK Metcalf and called him Decaf Metcalf before correcting himself, but as it goes with live sports or any broadcast, once it's put out there, into the world, it's too late to take it back. And when Volcana Coffee heard of the Monday Night Football flub, they took the opportunity to make a marketing campaign brand out of it, and Decaf Metcalf Coffee was born. The packaging of the coffee even has DK and his abs on the cover of it. Number 5. DK Metcalf can bench 350 pounds in a video with the LA Rams defensive tackle Aaron Donald. The two athletes are asked who can bench press more. Naturally, DK was confident in his own abilities, as was Donald, but when Donald made his claim of being able to bench press 500 pounds, even the extremely strong Metcalf's eyes bulged. Metcalf, who had just moments before the admission, claimed that he could probably out bench press Aaron and Donald confirmed that his max was around 350 pounds. While it's not a quarter of a ton like Aaron Donald, 350 for a wide receiver? That's still pretty impressive. It's impressive for anyone who is only 220 pounds, really. At the Combine, Metcalf showed off some of his bench press skills and put up 225-27 reps, which was tied for first among wide receivers. Number four, Metcalf was once told that his career was over. During a kickoff return in October of 2018 while playing for Ole Miss, Metcalf suffered a cervical fracture. When doctors told him he wouldn't play football again, naturally, he cried and said he was crushed. While blocking on the kickoff return, his head was snapped back and his neck ended up snapping with it. A second opinion and a surgery later, Metcalf was able to recover, rehab, and return. He said his recovery from the fracture and return to the field was a miracle. And after finding out that he was told he was never going to play again, could you blame him? When DK was given his initial diagnosis and career-shattering news, he said he was planning on continuing school to get his degree so that he could start working, but he wasn't really sure what he was going to do outside of football. Football had always been his goal. Luckily for DK, sometimes even doctors get it wrong and his neck was able to be fixed and his return was deemed safe. Number three, DK's source of inspiration is his father. Metcalf idolized his NFL father from an early age and said that his father is the biggest reason why he is where he is today. His father pushed him from a young age and helped him stay focused on his dreams of playing in the NFL just like him, and the two were able to achieve that goal with extreme hard work and dedication, as DK puts it. DK admits that without his father, he doesn't know if he'd be where he is today because his father was instrumental in so many ways from his strength training to his focus and to being the voice of reason when it came to choosing which college he was attending and how to deal with the mental rigors of the game. Number two, DK felt like the teams that didn't draft him were sleeping on him. As we talked about earlier, DK slid in the draft, and like many top prospects who take a tumble down the draft board, DK became a player scorned and looked to torch the teams that passed on him. DK expected to be a first-round pick, as did many of the people who had followed his career since high school to Ole Miss. After DK's draft slide, Metcalf felt like the league was sleeping on him and he was itching to land with any team to get a chance to prove the organization that selected him right with everyone else wrong. You can see Metcalf's reaction to finally being selected was joy mixed with relief, but beneath the surface, there was angst towards all of the scouts and coaches who thought DK would be a draft bust and were better off selecting other wide receivers. Well, he's already a household name, and we'd say that the DK Revenge Tour is going quite well and the Seahawks aren't mad at their selection. Number one, DK Metcalf and AJ Brown have a special bond. Metcalf and Brown played college football together at Ole Miss and during their time there became very close. The two receivers, who both pride themselves on their physiques, also shared a hunger to succeed at the collegiate level and became forces in the pros. During college, they were viewed as a Batman and Robin-like duo, with Brown being Batman as Metcalf was the team's number two receiver. Metcalf was the Robin by default due to his injury history in college, but both of the receivers viewed themselves as number ones. Coming into the league, the two remained very close 
close and often rooted for each other. AJ Brown has been quoted on multiple occasions saying DK Metcalf is a phenomenal receiver and that he loves seeing his success. And Metcalf caused a stir on Twitter when he said he's a Titans fan because of Brown. And as social media goes, many people thought that meant Metcalf wanted out of Seattle and wanted to play with Brown like they did in college. Brown quickly shot it down as respect for each other's games and a bond that goes beyond football. That's it for our list. 10 things up, 10 things down. Was there anything on this list that you already knew about DK? Is there anything that you think is interesting but maybe we didn't mention? Drop us a comment down below. Let us know. And if you haven't done so already, do me a favor and like the video. Subscribe to our channel to stay up to date on all things football. Until next time, sports fans, take care.